Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. How do I protect my transmission while towing? Reduce transmission wear while towing. 1. Invest in a transmission cooler. Often, trucks and vans that come factory prepared with a towing package already have transmission coolers. 2. Watch your RPMs. 3. Don't use cruise control. What gear should I drive in while towing? To prevent your tow vehicle from jerking due to engine lugging when traveling uphill, shift into a lower gear. This also helps improve gas mileage and reduce engine overheating. If you are driving up a long or steep grade, shift to a lower gear and be prepared for your vehicle to slow down significantly. Is it better to tow with a manual or automatic? As can be seen, both manual and automatic transmission cars have their advantages and disadvantages when it comes to towing a caravan. Nevertheless, if you can afford the extra initial outlay and increased fuel and road tax costs, automatic vehicles can make towing significantly easier. Does towing wear out transmission? Towing can put a strain on your truck's transmission towing heavier loads than your truck's maximum tow rating suggests, will directly put added strain on the transmission. Another transmission damaging factor is fluids. If the fluid levels are inadequate, towing will overwork the components and cause serious damage. How do you keep a transmission from overheating when towing? If you tow or haul heavy loads, consider getting a transmission cooler. A transmission cooler provides extra cooling power to your car's cooling system, assisting it in preventing the many hot, running systems in the engine from overheating. The best transmission cooler is a stack plate cooler. Can you tow an automatic car in park? Can you tow a car in park? The short answer is yes, but towing a car in park can potentially cause damage if certain precautions are not taken beforehand. An automatic car in park can have the mechanical lock of the transmission broken if towed with wheels on the street. Can towing ruin transmission? Answer. You could cause serious transmission damage, costing hundreds of dollars in repairs, by not using a dolly. Your owner's manual recommends towing the car not more than 50 miles with all four wheels on the ground. Can you tow an all-wheel drive vehicle in neutral? The problem with towing an AWD even if you place the car in neutral, it should still not be towed on its drive wheels because the transmission will get damaged. The opposite is to be done on rear-wheel drive vehicles and the steering should be locked. Can towing damage a transmission? If you must have your car towed, you want to make sure it is done properly to avoid additional damage to your vehicle. Tow trucks can damage cars when the towing process is not handled properly. Towing can even damage your vehicle's transmission, so that is why tow truck drivers take extra precautions. Should you use low gear when towing a trailer? Getting into a lower gear will help keep the speed up while going uphill and provide engine braking while going down. If your truck has an exhaust brake, you will want to use that going downhill. It helps slow the vehicle without heating up both the truck and trailer's brakes. Why is towing hard on a transmission? Towing can put a strain on your truck's transmission Another transmission damaging factor is fluids. During towing stress, the fluids in the engine heat up much like a pressure cooker. If the fluid levels are inadequate, towing will overwork the components and cause serious damage. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.